we are live. Let's go. Welcome into the first ever Stat Mando charity trivia show. I'm your host, Evan Kearns, and we have over $2,500 ready to be donated to charity based on our contestants, uh, their teams, and their charities that they are supporting. Uh, we have tons of questions today. Uh, some are worth cash, just straight cash to their team uh, to then go to charity, of course. And some are worth points to go to an overall pot uh, to display the standings. Whichever team has the most points at the end of the show will get $1,000 donated to their charity of choice. Second place will still get $550. Third place, $410. And last place still will get $300 donated to their charity absolutely incredible uh teams will also have a chance to win bonus cash throughout the night i said that and so they can get a little bit extra donated to their charity and with that let's bring in the teams our first team is we're good nick and matt matt graham nick carl what up welcome what's to the show up? who are you guys supporting as your charity double g J children's foundation the jerky's good but every time you buy it they donate to the double g children's foundation helping out children of all ages to benefit their lives using disc golf is pretty cool mm -hmm. let's bring in team number two brian Earhart and aj risley welcome in guys who are you supporting hello we're supporting the educational disc golf experience run by the reddings awesome welcome in let's go to team number three tina and eric oakley thanks for joining who are you guys supporting you play you play disc golf. <laughs> also, disc golf for kids all over this country, and they're starting to branch out too. So, Dustin and Zoe uh, running a really cool charity for kids. <laughs> Hi, sorry. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. And let's bring it into oh. team number four uh, Trevor Staub and Hunter Thomas. Thanks for joining, guys. Who are you supporting? Uh, we're representing the Isaiah 117 house tonight. They uh, offer an in-between home for kids in the foster care system uh, while they're waiting to be placed. Perfect. Awesome. Much appreciated. Yeah. And thanks to Hunter and Trevor. I didn't realize today was a Duke UNC game. So <laughs> thanks for skipping out to join the trivia show and donate money to charity. Uh, let's swing it over to our stat recorder and uh, score uh point score uh, stat checker i'm fumbling all over words but carl lamoth in the back room uh give us a wave carl carl and hey guys unfortunately intern ben who you guys see on the nick and matt show often came down with the sickness he's not here today but we have matt graham doing all the switching for us so he's playing uh he's playing the trivia show and he's doing all the work so much appreciated he had no clue of the questions beforehand no one did except for the stat mando crew so all fairness in there before we get started, I urge you guys, the viewers, uh, if you're watching and you want to compete as well, pick a charity. It can be one of the four awesome ones that uh, these teams have chosen or pick your own charity and play a game within yourself for whatever you guys can donate, whether it's a dollar uh, per question or maybe if you beat, you know, Brian and AJ, you will donate $20 to their charity, something like that. Pick a game, get started and let's roll with it. So with that, let's get into the first question. Matt, you want to switch it over? Let's show the question on the screen with everybody's points. Here we... I'd just like to encourage everybody out there to to try and beat Brian and I. Um, I feel like goals are very important for uh, the, the, go the growing mind. And uh, the, the, the higher you set your goals, the, the more you'll achieve. You won't win, but let's go. Yeah, because yeah. inspiring we, stuff. We, we must win. We must win. Okay. How, 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 if you guys win, how can we win? We haven't gotten there yet. Let's I, go. I don't know why you guys are talking about winning. We literally have the host sitting next to Matt and I. So if anything, <laughs> if we're down five points at the end of this, we're just going to pay Evan to give us all the answers. Wow. Hey, wow. I'm, I'm just wow. Saying, wow. Someone clip that. Clip I have that. no control of the Dang. points. Those are Matt's Dang. fingers. <laughs> we got Carl out in Canada, so nobody is near him. He's taking care of the points. AJ, uh, AJ, you can write numbers on your whiteboard as much as you want. It does not matter. Let's bring it over into question number one. We are getting started right away with some bonus cash. Ooh. Home to the Wolverines and Spartans, this mitten state is also the location of headquarters for two major disc golf manufacturers. Ding. I chimed in. Is that how this works? No. Okay. So we got to put the timer on the board, Matt. 45 seconds. Uh, 
Yeah, we started a little bit late. Oh, we're, we're rolling here. We don't have Ben, remember. Uh, you guys have 45 seconds uh, to write this down on your writing board. Uh, and once everyone's locked in and the timer's done, we'll reveal them one at a time, and I will then share uh, what was the correct, uh, correct answer. Oh, that's, that's the, you want the two manufacturers? I just want the, the state. I just want the state. That's all I care about. You can write them down if you want. I wrote Talk it on my you. my notepad oh, and my iPhone. Yeah, you can flex as much as you do. Yeah, we need to like share a notepad so we can just go back and forth and edit it. Is that how sharing notepads works? I'll share it. Yeah, with you. do that. That's how it works, Nick. And then share it with Evan as well, so just in case we need answers. <laughs> <laughs> I just shared in case. All right. Uh, let's share the answers. Let's start with Nick and Matt. What did you guys write down? Um, we put down on screen here, Michigan. That, that's what I answered. Nick didn't get it yet. Yeah, I was going to say, technically, I didn't even <laughs> convert with him since we're figuring out our notes, right, Michigan, but I'm, right. I am all set with that answer. Okay. Well, Matt wrote it down, so that's what we're going with. Let's bring it over to Brian and AJ. I have on here. Newbers. Newbers. You're <laughs> Michigan. So I'm actually going up there You're on Michigan, Tuesday. Baby. Upper Peninsula, I'll be there. All right, let's bring it over to Tina and Eric. Michigan. And she over. drew a mitten. <laughs> It drew a nice got- little mitten. And let's bring it over to Hunter and Trevor. Oh, Michigan. Y'all were all right. Four for four. Oh, we yeah. had $60. I didn't even say that. We had $60 for this question. And for these bonus cash questions, what we'll do is we will split it between all the correct answers. So $60 split four ways, $15 per team. Uh, let's throw it up on the board, Carl. No, oh, look uh, at that. Everyone's everyone's got cash already. That's how easy it is. That's how easy it is. The whole entire show. Uh, Let's throw up the next question. Uh, We have round one worth three hundred points each for each one of these questions. Uh, This first question is sponsored by Great Lakes Disc. Use code Nick and Matt to get ten percent off your next purchase at GreatLakesDisc.com. And I will ask you guys to name the three women who have five FPO PDGA World Championships. And what we'll do with this is 100 points for each correct answer. Uh, So if you do get all three correct, that'll be 300 points. If you only get one out of three, I'm still going to give you 100 points. Can we get the timer? Yeah, sorry. That's all good. Little tech stuff in the background. You're doing doing great (laughs) answering questions. Name the three women who have each one. Did my notes go through? Oh, good. Nick okay. took over for me. <laughs> That's accurate, I think. I would say, you know, Des Redding, you know, we can go yeah, Katrina we can throw them off. Oh my gosh. This She's guy. a world champion. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on. Are you reading off my list? That's I'll looking at the man. answers. I'm messaging AJ because we do not live in the same space right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> me and Nick are messaging because we have to. Oh, oh, right. Integrity. Dude, I'm going to be in SMB on Monday. Let's I go. just like the music that we have going on, too. <laughs> this is BSM, like, can we put this in our show? Text me. All right. Let's share right the now. answers. Uh, starting again with Nick and Matt, which three women did you guys write down? You take it, Nick. Juliana Corver, Elaine King, and Paige Pierce. And on, did you write it down, by the way? Yes, I did. All right. On to yeah, the how about we see this? Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm like also messaging Matt just like stuff about the did stream. Write so it? Let me, Don't right, show well, the Wikipedia well, page. Just, uh, the Google on. search here, history. It says, it says, well, it's blurry. He said, said it first. I said so Corver, Pierce, and then I put Elaine King because I didn't want anyone to think I meant Haley King. But let's get it on next time. Uh, Brian and AJ, uh, who did you guys write down? I've got pa- oh, Paige wow. Pierce, oh, wow. Juliana Corver. You're years. doing Corver dirty. No years. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> check his, right. check his spelling six, on if that. If we had 60 yeah. seconds. And over to Tina and Eric, you guys wrote the same thing. Yeah. Paige Pierce, Juliana Corver, and Elaine King. <laughs> and lastly, Hunter and Trevor. Paige Pierce, Elaine King, and Juliana Corver. <laughs> all <laughs> the same it's it's our, the game. With the, the score game. update. Uh, again, I somehow hope we're wrong. <laughs> you, you all are correct. Everyone got the full 300 points. It is uh, Lane King, Juliana Corver, and Paige Pierce. Uh, AJ, you wrote down the correct years. Lane King, uh, for some of the correct years, sorry, not all of them. Uh, Lane King won 91 through 94, and then as well in 97. Juliana Corver won yes. 98, 99, 2000, 2001, and 2003. And Paige Pierce won all the odd years from 2011 to 2019. Um, so is this her year? It's an Ooh. odd year. Well, yeah. So yeah. it was 2021. Oh, uh, 
let's bring it over to the next question, Matt. Uh, this question is thanks to DG, DG Max Wax, the original disc golf grip wax. Paul Best's first PDGA Professional World Championship victory was in this royal city. Let's get the timer going as well. I'll let you write it down, Nick, and I'll confirm or deny. Paul Macbeth's first professional world championship victory was in this royal city. Oh, that's what I thought. <clears throat> you hear TikTok? Yeah. Nice. Well, where's that's, the some, music? that's some nice <laughs> stress right there. Just like timer is dropping. And if you're not thinking, it's getting to you. I was one of those students in school where when we actually had quizzes and exams and everything like that, I would know answers right before them. But the second I have to sit down and actually pick an answer, it's like, wow, that one works and that one works. So what do I do now? And probably why I wasn't a great student. Yeah, the answer is always C. Uh, Timer is up. Let's go to Nick and Matt. Who did okay. you or what did you guys write? Down? So what city? this is our little shared notepad and there's focus. Question three, Charlotte, North Carolina is what we said. All right, Brian and AJ. Charlotte, North Carolina as well. Uh, Tina and Eric. Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte. 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 Hunter Charlotte. And Trevor. Charlotte is in I'm Vermont. Sorry. That's wrong. Yeah, you heard yeah, it. Yeah, you, you didn't put the state. Uh, we got Charlotte as well. We went four for four once again. Everybody is correct. Charlotte, North Carolina. That was in 2012. Charlotte is the most populated city in the state of North Carolina. A little extra fun fact there. Another fun fact, my, my teammate here carried the scoreboard during the final nine of that world championship. <laughs> oh, nice. oh, dang. <laughs> Very cool. All right. On to number yeah. three, brought to you by Disc Golf 978, where community comes first. Uh, visit them at discgolf978.com. In what year was the PDGA Professional World Championship first held outside of the United States? And we're throwing in a little bonus for 50 extra points. What country was it in? Uh, you don't need to get the original question right to get the bonus question. So if you only know the bonus, you can get some extra points. But, uh, to repeat it, in what year was the PDGA Professional World Championship first held outside of the United States? Thinking. And again, the bonus for 50 extra points. What country was it in? <laughs> I have no idea, actually. I'll, I'll send it to you. Feeling good about this. Hitting you with one. We got 10 seconds left. I'm not feeling good about my drawing. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is going to be awkward. Whoa. All right. Timer's up. Hope you guys have it. No. We'll start. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. We'll, we'll start with Nick and Matt again. We will switch it up in uh in the coming rounds so that way we'll have uh, like other people start favorites. out. I honestly If anything this, this one hurts us. This is a hor <laughs> this is a horrible game. You guys all need to write no. it down, but oh, Matt, wrong one. What did you say? We put down 1995 yeah. and honestly that's a horrible guess, but that's oh, what we had right. when the time I'm leaving out. out the bonus. Brian and AJ. Okay, I think I got the year wrong. 1984. Yeah. Of and course, it's Canada. Wrong. Country was Canada with a few of extra locations. Canada. Drew, uh, My thrown brain was in. frozen. Let's bring it over to Tina and Eric. We wrong. <laughs> 1996, and the bonus was Sweden. Man, we just and wrote stuff down. Okay. Yeah. Hunter and <laughs> we Trevor. We get like at least a point for trying, right? <laughs> Hunter and Trevor. Oh, sorry. I think All good. Doing multiple Canada lists. in 1986. What? Come on. Is that what Come also on. I originally wanted 87? Matt vetoed me, put 95. Well, <laughs> with that, the correct answer is 1987. Wow. So, oh, no, no team got it right. Oh, but Hunter crazy. and Trevor, Dang it. You guys I was about to hug you. Road. You guys were close. I thought you had a golden brain. The bonus yeah, answer sorry, is Canada. Oh, yeah. So let's give some 50 extra points to Brian and AJ and Hunter and Trevor for at least getting My the heart bonus. jumped for a second let's when he said it. 1980. I thought we Dude, did I it. I literally wrote, I have no idea. I think 1987, <laughs> yeah, it's but I don't know. LOLOL. <laughs> it's true. He did. The confidence when, when Hunter and Trevor flipped around there. I was like, yeah, that's like gotta be completely it. Like they yeah. just like, <laughs> like I believe them. Yeah, they, they rewatched coverage of it yesterday. So, uh, <laughs> that's, 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 that's perfect. Yeah. Dang it! Let's bring it into the next one, Matt. 
I know you're you're doing a there. million things I think right we're now. Fixing Appreciated a lot of things. it. Uh, next up, Brixton premium disc golf cards golden era coming soon learn more at brixtondiscgolf.com ken climo won 12 world championships and five usdgcs he has one other major win what event was it i don't need the year just the name of the event ken climo won 12 world championships and five usdgcs Mm. he has one other major win you need to tell me what that event was again don't need the year doesn't matter. AJ, if you wanted to flex, you can write it down if you want. Uh, but it will not be any points. Well, I guess while we're killing time and just hanging out, <laughs> LeBron James needs only 63 more points to be the all-time leading scorer in the NBA in the history of his regular season, I think. right? I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen tonight. I really don't. I think it'll eventually happen. Yeah, but wouldn't it be crazy? It'll it be so rigged if he just all of a sudden scores like 64 points tonight. Dropping 63 in one game. Scripted. Two scripted. Separate records. Scripted. It's not, it's not rigged. It's scripted. scripted. Would Better be incredible. <laughs> Let's share our answers, starting with you guys, Nick and Matt. On screen, I mean, on iPhone, it says... We are pretty confident with the Japan Japan Open. All right, Brian and AJ. Ah! Japan (laughs) Open. Uh, Tina and Eric. All right, hey, all right. (laughs) Masters Worlds. Team Masters Worlds, all right. That's a major. Yeah, it is. Worlds. Uh-oh. I don't know if the apostrophe is right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, is oh, it man. their masters? We don't. Sure is there technicalities? Uh, Carl, I'm gonna have you have you do some work here. Uh, yes, thank you, Carl. Ooh. throw it to Carl. Uh, we did not specify MPO major here, uh, so Carl, you let me know if he did end up winning uh, Masters Worlds. But let me get the answer that we had, which was the European Open. Oh, whoa, in exactly. 2007. Oh. Um, he beat, Dude, I was so confident it was Japan. We might have done it. Let's go. Masters he, World. He beat Dave Felber. was so mad he left. He beat he Dave Felber by eight. <laughs> Ken Climo was 39 years old, wrong. and he went on to win USDGC that year, his 18th major. Uh, Carl, if you're able to check, nope. I, if Ken Climo won Masters Worlds, we didn't specify MPO, so. I we'll put the event under protest if we're not giving points. <laughs> I... I, I I will say if he did in fact win Masters Worlds and that being a world championship and a Masters division, um, then I will allow it and give them points as well because that's our fault for not <laughs> clarifying MPO or FPO. So that breaks my little heart. Let's move on. Yeah, I'm so, so I was so confident with that. Hey, you know, I mean, we we got half credit for the uh, Canada answer. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Let's move on to the next question. Uh, did Ken Climo win Masters Worlds or World Championship in a Masters division? Uh, if you want, we'll run to the next question. Yes, Tom, he did. He oh, did. He did. All he right. Did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on. That that is on us on the team for not saying MPO or FPO. So let's give Tina and Eric and Hunter and Trevor points on that question. Uh, our fault there. We Rigged. do spe- we do try to specify <laughs> it elsewhere. Hey, can I just say props to you guys for like ratcheting up the questions right now? My heart is pounding. <laughs> <laughs> Those first three questions were just softballs. But yeah, oh my I'm like, damn, we're we're yeah. star framing all these right now. It's like, let's like, keep going, and then well, all of a sudden, the where was worlds? Uh, yeah, right. Let's bring it into the next question. Uh, this one is sponsored by OTB, virtually in your hand at OTB OTBdis.com. Home to multiple world champions, what Midwest state was the first to host PDGA Pro Worlds for a second time? Home Home to multiple world champions, what Midwest state was the first to host PDGA Pro Worlds for a second time? Ooh. Can you turn up the? the Can someone like just list off heart? Midwest states really quick? Because <laughs> now I'm like freaking out. <laughs> what is the Midwest? That's a good question. That should be that should have been the bonus question. <laughs> Name yeah. all Midwest states. Did we get the points right? Did AJ and the teams not get them right? Uh, the points for the last one, I believe. They they yeah, said Japan up. Open. Which one do you want to go? Um, 
correct or no, not correct? No, he did not win it as a major. Uh, uh, unless right. unless he won in Masters. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was dealing with the cat issues. No, that's okay. <laughs> let's go with it. Let's go with it. That's incredible. All right. Let's go to our answers. Nick and Matt, how stressful are you right now? We're stressed. I'm going to ask one because my geographical sense of the United States is pretty far <laughs> Same. off. Same. And then I'm like, okay, what states have had the world championships twice? And yeah. Two, and one, one came right off the rip, but then part of it was in world champions came from that state is that what the question was saying multiple world champions came from that state or was it, or was yeah, it multiple world championships that was, that was part of it yeah okay. i'm trying to give you a hint right. like it, that means like they grew we up guessed, in that state is that we guessed saying? indiana okay that's our guess <laughs> it, yeah. misunderstood that let's one <laughs> let's go to brian and aj oh boy we flipped and flopped <laughs> oh my gosh there's so many there's so many and brian's, so many in, suspense, brian's in suspense too because we're not in the same room drama let's go is on the board that's what we're going with uh, tina, okay i okay. feel a little bit better now okay tina and eric say indiana and hunter and trevor uh what did y'all say i think we misread the question but that's okay I well, that was that was another one that, that was my debated. second option yeah. I, oh, okay never mind i feel, yeah, I feel no, better good. now good. i feel better yeah, now I was like, I oh, if it was on uh, someone else's brain i'm okay with it yeah, yeah. all right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and with that the answer is ohio uh, uh, what it oh, first hosted worlds in 1988 in cincinnati it hosted for a second time in 1991 uh in dayton uh val and avery, avery jenkins call it home and Ray, ricky wysocki ah. as well uh okay Good hey, uh, just really quick for everyone, we're not allowed to all get the answer wrong because that means no money's going to charity. So yeah, no, we're no, bad. No, I'm just kidding. At the end, it That's does. How the right? real world works. Yeah. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a participation <laughs> trophy segment right here. <laughs> Sometimes All right, no let's, one gets money. let's bring it into the next one. Brought to you by Flight Factory. Shop exclusive releases and over 25,000 discs wow. at flightfactorydisc.com. In the 21st century, who has the fewest days between first cash and first major win? That is, who, has, who was the fastest to go from first cash to first major win? In the 21st century... Who has the fewest days between first cash and first major win? Uh, Tina and Eric and Hunter and Trevor both wrote Masters Worlds. Right, FPO or MPO? Uh, yeah, let me, it doesn't say it in the question. MPO or FPO major and first pro cash uh, in those divisions as well. Okay. What are you going to go with? Okay. So I, I clarified the MPO and FPO as we were saying the question. The timer is up. I can see teams hardworking. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> but we are going to call it. This is the last time I'm going to you guys first. But Nick <laughs> and Matt, you. what did you guys write down? You get Gannon it. Burr. Oh, can you show him? Or? Gannon Burr. Yeah. Oh, you want me to show him? You can show him. Gannon, Gannon Burr. Burr. Brian and AJ. Attaboy! Attaboy, Rick! Rick, Rick. Oh, Ricky Rick. Wysocki, uh, Tina and Eric. Shoestrick. Will Shoestrick. Oh, Hunter yes. and Trevor. Oh my goodness. Page all Pierce. All different answers. I love, Page Pierce, I love Pierce. it. Page Pierce. I love it. And I'll say this. Somebody was right. <laughs> the correct answer was it's Rick. Ricky Wysocki. Yeah, oh, ah! at, oh. at 441 DJ days, uh, he first cashed on July 11, 2010, and he won his first major on September 25th, 2011, beating wow. Paige Pierce at 447 days. Oh, Gannon oh, Burr was 742 days. I don't have Will on the, his list, but I believe he was pretty short as well. He's pretty tall. He's actually really <laughs> tall. He's, he's pretty lanky. Wow. Yeah, that is true. Uh, that brings us to the end of round one. Uh, Tina and Eric, do you guys want to tell us a little bit more about you play disc golf? <laughs> yes, they sure. do. <laughs> um, so you play disc golf is, uh, you know, they function along with the pro tour uh, in a lot of ways, um, but they also have a wonderful, uh, you know, knit group of people working in the uh, Pacific Northwest. Uh, as far as getting into schools and helping grow disc golf. I mean, it's a program that is just about 
getting exercise into daily lives and you know instilling this positive social and life skills uh and you know just increase you know physical abilities and body awareness and you know, getting people to enjoy the flight of a disc heck really cool. yeah let's go i mean you play is one of the charities we hear a lot about and they do fantastic work uh it, again if you guys watching want to support you play as your charity as a fan uh that is one of the many great choices let's bring it to a bonus money question uh thank you to double g craft jerky you can easily buy the best craft jerky online and have it shipped right to your front door Dion Arlen flexed his muscles and won the Whiff Diff Distance Throwing World Championships in 2010. In what state was this competition held? Dion Arlen being one of the notable co-founders of Statmando, so shout out to him. He won the Whiff Diff Distance Throwing World Championships in 2010. I want to know what state was this competition held? I gave a few answers you can look at. I don't know. This is a tough one. Again. Throwing it at you. No more softballs. That's not true. Uh. <laughs> no more softballs. Well, maybe. I don't know. No more deflated balls. <laughs> That's trying to replay the distance with Dion episode and see if he ever talked about it. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm pretty sure in that video he does. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he directly mentions. I'm going to let you have final take on those because that's all I had. So whatever you're feeling. You don't know which one it is. No. <laughs> What's up, bud? How you doing? Uh, How you doing, teammate, second. bud? Right. I'm doing great, bud. All right. Let's throw it to Brian and AJ first this time. Uh, what did y'all write? I like I like what you did there. Uh, let's throw it to to us. Thank you. Yeah. Ooh, nice. It's a good guess. We got Nevada, and over to Tina and Eric. Nevada, Ooh, Nevada as well. Hunter and Trevor. Hey. Oh God. Ooh, hey. We're three for three. All right. Well, that's that usually where it happens. It's either great or awful. But, yeah. Michigan. I wrote <laughs> Michigan. Michigan. <laughs> All like right. a horrible place for a distance competition. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, it's wherever they're just hosting it. I don't know. <laughs> that's where the distance in. Just keep going. Oh, that scared me. Yeah, just keep uh, going. This happens every now and then. Something on our side. <laughs> um, one of you is right, and uh, it is Nevada. Uh, yes. Dion threw 233 meters. Uh, that's about 732 feet. And although he won. The longest throw of the competition was by Garrett Gerthy at 245 meters, around 804 feet. That competition had a wow. kind of qualifier system as well. So uh, they can throw far. <laughs> they can let's, throw far. <laughs> let's bring it over to Hunter and Trevor. Tell us a little bit about your charity, Isaiah 117 House. Yeah, so uh, Isaiah 117 House was founded by a family, the Paulson family. They basically were involved in the foster care system. They were wanted to uh, adopt and foster. Uh, and they saw basically the in-between space where kids who are taken out of rough situations and, and put into that system, they're taken to kind of a... Um, a kind of cold, sterile place. It's kind of just where they're in the waiting uh, to get, be placed into a home um, permanently. And um, in that space, a lot of times they don't have anything. They have like only the clothes on their back. Um, and it's just kind of a rough spot. And it's a little bit scary for those kids a lot of times. So they thought, hey, let's ha have this house that they can come to and be in an in-between phase where it's, you know, there'll be warm people there to greet them. They'll be given clothes and supplies. So we've been working with them for a while now and, and all the donations kind of go to supplying that house and basically giving opportunities to these kids entering the foster system to, to have that safe space. Yeah. Very, very awesome charity. Uh, we we're happy to have so many disc golf charities today. I think it is awesome that we have one that is outside the world of disc golf and getting to very important matters. So I appreciate you guys picking Isaiah 117 house. Um, let's move it on to round number two. Uh, each of these will be worth 400 points each. We need some points. Yeah. yeah. We're uh, let's drag. do a quick, let's do a quick points update. No, let's not. Nick and Matt with <laughs> 600 points. We have Brian and AJ with 950 tied for the lead. Tina and Eric at 900 and Hunter and Trevor also with 950 tied for the lead. Uh, 
Let's bring it into this one. Shout out to Power Grip. Europe's number one disc golf shop is now open in the United States. Come see why they call themselves a pretty good disc golf shop online at powergripusa.com. We got a multiple choice one. Simon Lazat has 65 wins in MPO across 10 countries. What country has Simon won the most events in? Uh, that is PDGA MPO events. Uh, a, United States. B, Germany. C, Sweden, or D, Canada. 65 wins in MPO across 10 countries for Simon Lazat. I want to know which country he has the most wins in, in MPO for PDG events. Four options are A, United States, B, Germany, C, Sweden, and D, Canada. That's my guess, Nick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, it's... <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so though. Oh, actually, think about it. What? It would have to be right. It doesn't have that many wins. Oh my goodness! Yeah, switch it. Yeah. <laughs> We're switching it to the wrong answer. <laughs> That's what we do over here at the Nick and Matt Show. All right, time is up. Let's head over to Brian and AJ. What did you guys write? I just wrote it. <laughs> what? B. Oh, B. Germany. <laughs> uh, C. Sorry. C. Oh my goodness, I'm going to Team Three. Uh, Eric and Tina. They wrote C. What are the chances that I fumbled in saying C and you guys wrote C? Uh, that is C. Sweden. Hunter and Trevor. A. United States and Whoa. Nick and Matt. Uh, Germany, Germany, whatever that was. Wherever it is. <laughs> we might be stupid. I, I don't know. It's just we can do the blur. We might be an so, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The correct answer. We're is about to have a new B. Germany. Uh, he has 35 <laughs> wins. Yeah, it would have been easy. <laughs> he has a 19 in the United States. I didn't think there was that many tournaments in Germany. So, yeah. He lived there for a long time. He did live there. He did. He was from there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's that's from that is true. I, I always thought he was from Delaware because they kept saying that he was from Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness, that, that's a good joke. Uh, Bremen, Delaware. Let's, let's bring it on to the, to the next question. This is by Tridis, a disc golf search engine that searches over 180 retail stores, provides promo codes, and has other helpful tools to browse and compare discs. Check them out at tridis.com. The first national Woo! tour event was the 2003 Golden State Classic held in La Mirada, California. Name both the MPO and FPO winners. I'm going to give you 200 points for each correct answer. So if you get both, that's 400 points. If you only get one, that's okay. You still get 200. I'm going to go to the little boys room, everyone. Don't worry about me. <laughs> All right, AJ, you got to hold it down. We got 10 seconds left on the clock. Suspense full. I think the first one's wrong. Right, right down. You can show it up on yours. Oh, my goodness. All right. I'm stressed out over here. I'm handling let's, a lot. Let's throw it over to the solo player. Uh, AJ, what did you write down? I wrote down a couple <gasps> people near and dear to my heart. Steve Rico mm -hmm. and Juliana Corver. I heard some gasp with that. I don't know if they were good or bad ones, but over to Tina and Eric. Hey, Doss, Juliana Corver. Oh, I didn't even think about Doss. <laughs> he does a question. Ooh. All right. Good over to too. Hunter and Trevor. What is Nate Doss? Oh, Nate and Climo and Juliana Corver. Man, these are great. And Nick and Matt. Uh, we put, uh, again, we need to focus, but it is Steve Rico, Juliana Corver. All oh. right. The oh, correct answers are Steve Rico and Juliana Corver. Let's go, dude. 
Uh, congrats to everyone wow. getting Jewel on a Corva right. That's 200 points for everyone. Uh, but Nick and Matt and Brian and AJ get the additional 200 points that for getting up for the Nevada both players right. <laughs> Whiff diff in Michigan. Uh, yeah. Steve Rico, B. Ken. Oh, go ahead, Brian. I think this footage is on the internet somewhere. If anyone is wow. interested, I think the MPO and FPO played together. It's it's a really sweet video. Uh, so. oh. You might that be is, you might be thinking. As you can tell, we haven't seen it. Memorial. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, team on team correction. Uh, Steve Rico beat Ken Climo by two strokes, uh, and Juliana Corver beat two time U.S. Women's winner Leslie Todd by five strokes. Uh, Corver also had the FPO hot round at nine sixty seven that tournament. This next question is sponsored by Zuka Disc Golf Carts for a Better Game. Check out their full line of disc golf carts at Zuka.com. In 2018, an iconic four-way playoff took place between Evelina Salonen, Katrina Allen, Paige Pierce, and Kristen Tatar. In what European country did this playoff take place? Ooh. In the year 2018, a four-way playoff between Salonen, Allen, Pierce, and Tatar. I want to know what country it is in europe so there is a hint there uh what country <laughs> this playoff took place in right this was at the european open right or it, I, that's a or good you one you can't man. tell me i'm not I'll, telling I'll you you fix all the spelling oh, i'm gonna right. delete it <laughs> you're gonna delete it i do yeah this this we can't spell it. Do we have to get spelling right? Let's I'm see. not going to knock anyone on spelling. As long as I can, like, understand <laughs> I it. So. Simon's roasting me on, in text right now. He's mad that Eric looks <laughs> <was> Sweden. <laughs> He's mad that Eric, what, didn't shave? Like Sweden. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's too Sweden. funny. All right. We got time. Uh, the timer up. Let's go to Brian and AJ. What did you all write down? Whoa. Sorry about that. Sick transition double. Finland. <laughs> we got Finland from AJ and Brian, oh, Tina and Eric. Good one. Sweden, Sweden. Okay. Hunter and Trevor. Oh. <laughs> well, there's some solid answers. I hope they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the oh. Czech Republic from Hunter and Trevor and Nick and Matt. We spelled phonetically and we wrote Czech Republic. That's in Kona Pista, but the Czech Republic. Oh, that's Republic. awful. All right. Well, so, <laughs> yeah. Understood. It auto corrected. It, it did us dirty. <laughs> Republic. Yeah. The timer that, went out, though. We didn't want to cheat. I would totally accept that if it was the correct answer. It is not. <laughs> no! Uh, it was a professional Euro tour in A tier. Evelina Salonen went on to win in Skeleftia, Sweden. It was sweet. Tina, oh! Tina and Eric, let's go. Sweet. That's a big one. I was going to be shame. Nice nice well, <laughs> all right. Oh, this Great. this I question was, when they said kind of say, I was like oh I forgot about that yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing you hey, forgot what? about it <laughs> Evelina Salmon yeah. went on to win this four way playoff and she also took down Kona Peach Day one year uh, this wow. question is brought to you by 1010 Disc the premier disc golf store find them at 1010disc.com at the 2013 Memorial the highest round rating ever was scored an 11:32 round who won this event in F and excuse me in MPO. The highest round rating ever in 11:32 was at the 2013 Memorial. Uh, who won this event in MPO? I'm looking for the winner of the event. Hey, but can we just say that Joel Freeman's round at Butler County was the best round ever? <laughs> Yeah, that was disgusting. Hi higher than an 11:32, you think? Hey, Chuck, Chuck no, Kennedy, sorry, I, I want to. wants to talk to you, AJ. No, sorry, I, I wasn't. I want to argue with myself. Paul Macbeth <laughs> okay. at the at the 2013 Vibram Open was better than Paul Macbeth at the 2013 Memorial. Both in 2013. No, 20... they're, no, they're both 2013. All right, the timer is just about. We'll done. never settle that debate. We'll hey, never. We'll, AJ we'll and never... Brian, how soon did you guys have this answer locked in? Um, mm. within two words of reading the question. Yeah, man. I... Yeah. I the, after I finished reading the question, I, I was up there. I'm sorry, and, and y'all were staring straight at me. Uh, let's head over to you guys. Well, well, maybe I don't want to start with you guys if you're so confident, but let's still start with you guys. <laughs> Is it confidence? That's, okay, sorry. Dudley. William Dudley Shoestrick. <laughs> William Dudley Shoestrick. Uh, Tina and Eric also say Will Shoestrick. Hunter and Trevor. 
<laughs> Their belts are wide open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I think we got our they first. Wrote, no. They wrote Guys, I didn't yep. win that tournament. <laughs> I think we got the first pass of the night. <laughs> so oh, let's no. get them. <laughs> and oh, it and is. Come on, Fogey. Will, Will Schuster. Schuster as well. <laughs> if you put Gannon Burr, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, the correct answer know. was Will I told Schuster. you it was pointless now and you can't uh, yeah, believe wait, me. Wait, everyone silence for a second. I want to hear the argument. I, mean, <laughs> I, I tried telling Trevor it was a pointless round. He didn't believe me. That, that none of those things were said. None of those things. <laughs> okay, the world will never know. That's a great story, though, because Paul shot that amazing round. Will won the event outright, but he didn't total his scorecard. So they gave him a two-stroke penalty. And know, after that two-stroke penalty, they went to a playoff. Yep. And oh my goodness! Paul yeah. I was Will right. So you were right. Yeah, I forgot they about both... the the penalty. Yeah, <clears throat> yep. I just had my notes. I mean, yeah, Paul the only Beth thing I've ever seen from that off. event is that video Paul posted with all that Rodney, loud music in the background Rodney. of him shooting eleven thirty two. I started playing disc golf in twenty fifteen. Man, I don't know what to say. Dude, AJ, you haven't watched all of it. Let's, let's event... exchange contact info after this, and uh, and we'll we'll talk. AJ, this event was live, right? This was a live event. I, I think I was watching it live. This this was this was a live event. Disc Golf Planet TV was very very dramatic. Dang, Disc Will Golf Planet was in has... the middle of a post round interview. Yes, and they had to interrupt the post round interview to say, um, "Will." Something's something's up. <laughs> something's... And then they yeah they wow, went to yeah. a playoff. But and, you know that, what, and so, yeah. You know what's a baller move <laughs> is beating the guy that shot that incredibly <laughs> hot round, the hottest we've ever seen as far as round ratings go. Uh, it's to still be in the playoff to say, hey, I, I still wanted that one. It Very was cool. the birth of one of the greatest rivalries in our sport, I believe. Yep. Sure. Agreed. All right. Well, I, those stories are awesome. Let's move on to the next question. We appreciate the support from Great Lakes Disc. Use code Nick and Matt to get 10% off your next purchase at greatlakesdisc.com. And speaking of the Great Lakes, name all the players on Paul Macbeth's card during his iconic 18 down at the 2018 Discraft Great Lakes Open. I want I'm in, I'm giving out 100 points for each correct answer besides Macbeth, Macbeth, excuse me. I'm going to give everyone a base of 100 points cuz you should assume that Paul Macbeth was on that card. <laughs> I already had that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the points anyways. Uh, name all the players on Paul Macbeth's iconic 18 down at the 2018 D-Glow. 100 points for every other player besides Macbeth. And Carl, don't forget those 100 points that everyone gets for Macbeth. I commentated on this round for Jomez. Um, oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm, I'm blanking on the... The fourth name. <laughs> Paul Macbeth. All right, let's let's switch it over. Right, right, right one more down. I, I went a whole round of making Nick and Mac go first, but we only have three <laughs> rounds, so I'm going to start it now. Let's go over to Tina and Eric. I'm going to ask you guys we got one. first. Willie Prince? Willie Prince <sighs> uh, to go along with Paul Macbeth, of course. <laughs> Hunter and Trevor. Uh, we, we, could, we were too slow on the other ones. <laughs> We got Dave Felberg, Paul Macbeth. Is that Nicola Castro and Ricky Wysocki? Sorry. Oh, got no. Willie Prince. All good. Yep. Nick and Matt. Oh. We put, oh, we put, um, well, where is it? Nico. Yeah, don't Felberg, show us the answers for the. Nico <laughs> Felberg Eagle. We didn't know the third. <laughs> yeah. You said Nico Felberg Eagle and yeah. Macbeth. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, and Macbeth was, yeah. Um, and AJ and Brian. Okay. We have Paul Macbeth. Dave Feldberg, Nico Castro, and uh, we put Willie Prince. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah. I really uh, have no idea who the fourth person is. I can't remember the fourth. I think Willie Prince popped off that tournament. Yeah, he, he did, popped yeah, off I, I, at I, it, but down. I don't think he was on that card. I'll, I'll say it now. It was not Willie Prince. Uh, oh, Nico Castro is correct. Yes. Dave Feldberg is correct. Yes. The last one is... Kevin Jones. Oh, Jones. Oh, that's, Paul, oh, Paul Macbeth my bad, shot, KJ. Paul Macbeth shot an 18 down. Nico <sighs> Castro went 11 down. Felberg went 7 down. Those two together went 18 down. Uh, and Kevin Jones went 4 under. Man. Willie, Willie Prince was on, my, was on my card the next day, which was in the afternoon of recording the commentary for that round, and he shot the 14 down. Nice. Uh, in, my eye, in my eye hole. <laughs> <laughs> it was painful. 
Very cool. Uh, on to the next. Thanks to Disc Golf 978, where community comes first. DiscGolf978.com. Which player has sailed to victory in the most U.S. states? Uh, PDG event wins in 37 of the 50 U.S. states. Um, that is the most of any division or tier. Um, which player has sailed to victory in the most U.S. states? Uh, PDG event wins in 37 of the 50 U.S. states. And again, this is any division or any tier. Okay. I need to pay attention to stat or fiction more because this is something we do, and I'm like blanking on all of them. I I don't That's think what, we did this. I like it's similar. I like the use of the word "sailed" here. What's what's that all about, huh? I'm I'm just trying to have fun with these questions. I I got bored of just saying like who has one thirty seven. You know. I appreciate. Actually, you. I didn't I didn't write this one. Shout out to Carl. Isn't that a DGA hit? Oh my gosh. All right. We got the timer up. Let's go, Tina and Eric. What did you guys write? Katrina Allen. Sorry, it's oh. Over to Hunter and Trevor. Oh my gosh. That's a great. No guess. idea. Avery <laughs> Good Jenkins. Guess. Good guess. Uh, shout out to those 1,400 courses. Came from the heart. Uh, Nick and Matt. We said Feldberg and Brian and AJ. Oh, sorry. He sorry. said the, the Borg himself. All oh, these double Feldberg. transitions oh, are killing man. me. There we double go. transition. Makes sense. <laughs> David, David oh. Feldberg for Brian and AJ as David. well. The correct <laughs> answer on, is dude. Katrina no. Allen. No! Oh, Katrina. Let's go. Dude. What an answer. Uh, wow. man. Great. I don't know if you have answer. Right. Wow. Yeah, Sail to Victory no. was not a coincidence. Katrina Allen's Tour like, Series disc yeah. and AJ oh, is yeah. the oh, sail. Look for can, symbolism. This is unbelievable. Can Carl <laughs> can Carl from Stat Mando tell us like how many wins uh how many states like Felberg I, had? I don't have Felberg written in my <laughs> okay, notes. That's okay. uh, Sarah Hokum is next with 33 states and Scott Stokely and Des Redding also have 32 <sighs> states. Okay. So I didn't no, have Felberg. That's okay. Oh, that's goodness. okay. I'm not going over things here. We don't need uh, Felberg. We just yeah, didn't have him in the top 4. But Brian and AJ, tell us a little bit more about Edge educational disc golf experience. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, there's a lot of really awesome educational uh, organizations. I mean, you play also being represented here, just getting out and sharing the beauty of disc golf with children and getting them uh, another option uh, to be active and play. And I think that's so important uh, in being a kid. And I think Edge was one of the original uh, organizations that started doing this. The, the Reddings are fantastic people and kind of hard not to support them in, in, in this competition. But uh, AJ, anything else? Yeah, back in 2000, 2007, my dad and I raised money for the edu educational disc golf experience. And uh, one of the things we did during the summer of raising that money was we travel, we um, we set up a meeting with a, with a group of school children in Iowa. Mm -hmm. And um, we just played a round of disc golf on the, the course that they had in their school. And that was it. That was that was as easy as the charitable act was. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I think that this this charity promotes um, ease, you know, disc golf and the ease of access that it afford that it's um, afforded. Fun, quick. This isn't our show, but we got Jay Redding on our show on Monday talking about all that Edge has done this Monday. So there you go. Wow. Come back That's and find out more. Would you look at that? I didn't know that. I love cool. it. Or maybe I did. I don't know. <laughs> we we uh, told you. Don't worry. OK, I forgot. Uh Let's move on to a lightning round. The lightning round will oh, be uh, just one team uh, answering as not as many questions. I was about to say that answering seven questions in 45 seconds as fast as they can. If the what? timer's up and we're not done, they are done anyways. Um, so huh. this first lightning round uh, is just for Nick and Matt, but what? it is brought to you by Great Lakes Disc. <laughs> Use code Nick and Matt to get 10% off your next purchase at Great Lakes Disc dot calm now to be clear so i should pick him to write down or something um, like one of us needs to so, write down so what this is going to be it's or no writing audibly i'm it's going to be all audible so it'll just be Great. uh you talking with me so either one of you guys can chime in to answer okay what i'm gonna say is um you guys you give a confident answer i'm going on just okay. so we can be quick as possible if you're like oh i don't know it could be this person like <laughs> i'll kind of understand yeah. your your thinking um 
but let's be confident because I am trying to work with you to get all these questions rattled off. So, <laughs> like, I, I can say any name with like a so, question. <laughs> Katrina Allen. Well, well, okay. I'm not going to say if it's right or wrong until the end. So if okay. you say Katrina Allen, oh, I see. I'll be like, I'll just be <laughs> waiting for you to say yeah. it for sure. Okay. Say so, final answer. Final answer. Yeah. No. Um, what is? And then say here we go. <laughs> Matt, you're producing, so let's try to let's try to time this up right. But 45 seconds on the clock. Let's start it in Going. three. Oh. To, oh, oh my goodness! Let's go. How much money did the two, uh, 2022 <laughs> Disc Golf Pro Tour Championship winner in MPO take home? Thirty five thousand dollars. Who won that 2022 LWS Open at Idlewild in FPO? Oh shoot! 2022 uh, Valerie Mandahano. How yeah. many world titles does Sarah Hokum have? One. Uh, who won the 2022 Discraft Ledgestone Open in MPO? Doesn't say it, but MPO. It was a playoff. Calvin Heimberg. Thank you. How many playoff holes did Gibson and Burr play at the 2022 Las Vegas Challenge? Five. In what year was the first 1100 rated round recorded? 2015. 13. Oh, it's 13, yeah. Oh, well. All right. Um, let's go <laughs> back no. through this. Uh, how much money did the 2022... That was intense. Yeah, that, that was way <laughs> I was literally at... I watched the playoff happen at Deglo this year or last year, and I'm like, who the hell won? I'm just looking over at Nick giving him hints. Yeah, winner take home. You guys said $35,000. That is correct. $35,000? Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you said yeah. we had $35,000. I, I didn't say this, but 100 points for your <laughs> correct answer. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, we do? Who won the 2022 LWS Open at Idlewild and FBO? You said Valerie Mandahano. That is incorrect. It was wow. Katrina Allen. How many world do titles does Sarah Hokum have? One is correct. That is 200 points total. Who won the 2022 Discraft Ledgestone Open in MPO? That was not in the playoff. It was Ricky Wysocki taking it home with Wait. a commanding win. Ledgestone yeah, Open. Oh, you said Ledgestone. Oh, Why did God. we think... Why did I think why How, D-Glo? Why did we both think D Glow? I don't know. I don't know, but you guys oh, thought it freaking. How a, many dude. playoff holes did Gibson and Burr play at the 2022 Las Vegas Challenge? I actually what did they say? We said, said five. 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 It, <laughs> no, it was four. They, well, it they was pl- on hole seven. Oh, they skipped one. Holes. But they skipped holes. They Two. only played odd number holes. So it was one, three, five, seven. It finished <laughs> on seven. Oh, you had that one because you said that. <laughs> I was I like, thought, four. I thought there was one more in between. <laughs> and he said five. And I was yeah. like, well, maybe they won I on the I thought there was fifth. one Anyways. more that they did in between. All in, good. in what year was the first 1100 rated round recorded? I don't no. remember what you guys said. Something in the team. We said I said 15. He yeah. said 13. So uh, I don't know what you take. 2005 by Brian I was going to say, it was way earlier than that. but uh, And then I did have one that you guys didn't get to. but Man, um, that is tense, guys. Well, what was it? Name a PDGA approved disc by Mint Discs. Mm-hmm. Goat. Armadillo. Yeah. Bob. Mustang. No one bonus of those points. would be right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just retailers over here. <laughs> All right. <sighs> I can breathe now. Let's go on to lightning round number yeah, two. Yeah, dude. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Again, 100 points each. Let's bring in Brian and AJ. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. Are, here we we go. Go. Are we allowed to pass? Could we, can oh, we yeah, pass can we it? Uh, yeah, you could just say any any guess. I'm not I'm not going to go back to it because oh. we got I'm, – I'm going in forward order. So if you want to say pass, you're skipping over <laughs> Say pass. <laughs> yeah, you just just say okay. you know I don't know. I just Paul guess. Do you have unlimited questions though? I have seven questions in forty five seconds. Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, and this one is thanks to Stat Mando. Here is the lightning round. Are we ready? Forty five seconds on the clock. Here we go. Who has the most FPO majors? Elaine King. Who won the twenty twenty two Preserve Championship in MPO? Bradley Williams. In what year did Ken Climo win his first PDGA Pro Worlds? 1990. At what event was Kristen Tatar's first win of the 2022 season? That's an easy one. <laughs> Shut up. Skip. <laughs> what was Calvin Heiberg's first elite major victory of his career? Just provide the event name. Jonesboro. Jonesboro. How many MPO majors has Eric McCabe won? One. Two. 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 <laughs> name a PDGA approved disc by Clash Disc. Honey. Spicy honey. Oh. All right, that is the last one. <laughs> got felt through, like a lot longer than got through all seconds of them. when you're listening to it rather than when you're in what? it. I'm like looking at the timer and it's just all Johnny, zero. Yeah. yeah. Who has won the most FPO majors? Y'all said Elaine King. That is. If it was PP, I'm going to. Incorrect. Uh, no, it'll be a Vokes. It is Paige Pierce. 
She took, it, oh, wait, no. she took it from Val Jenkins with the European Open win this year. They were tied at 16. Mm, major wins. So, who won the 2022 Preserve Championship in MPO? You are right. That was Bradley Williams. 100 points right there. In what year did Ken Climo win his first PDGA Pro Worlds? You said 1990, if I'm correct, which is correct. Okay. At Good what one. event wow. was Kristen Tatar's first win of the 2022 season? You the passed. Easy one. Yeah, we passed. You passed. Okay. Yeah, well, Matt, she didn't win what any. was it? She, um, you know, she had no wins. It was a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> no wins. I have no idea what it was. You're all sleeping. Um, most most I'm money. A, like, she broke the record for most cash pr- winnings. No, no wins. wins. Yeah. No. Uh, I'm actually doing this from memory. I believe it was, was it Jonesboro? Jonesboro. Jonesboro. All right. Carl, tell me if oh, I'm right. Because, yeah. Carl, you have the answers in case, right? Carl. All right, thank you, Carl. Ah, it uh, wasn't pass. What event was Calvin? <laughs> Heiberg, what was Calvin Eiberg's first elite major victory? Uh, you said Jonesboro. That is incorrect. It was the Las Vegas Challenge. Yep. Oh, uh, of course. How many MPO majors Calvin. has Eric McCabe won? I, I'm going to give this one to you guys. You guys did very quickly correct yourself and say two before we moved on. Uh, that is correct. He won Players Cup in 2008 and then 2010 Worlds. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. Name a PDG approved disc by Clash Disc. You said Honey. I, that's correct, right, Carl? Nope. Nope. It's a wild <laughs> honey. It the is honey now. Is a, I'm pretty sure is a gateway disc. Well, the honey, are correct. The honey the was a proto. They originally called it the honey, and they changed they did, it to wild honey. It to wild honey. So, oh. so wow. I said that's What's incorrect. Do, Eric? No point. I think, I don't think about. It. I don't know. Carl, you guys you got think? Masters Worlds. You guys got Masters Worlds, and before the competition, he said no Masters titles should be used in this. So I'm going to pull that card. Let's move forward. All right, take off. Whoa. All the oh, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Hey, man, we're down by a thousand. Give us, throw us a bone here. You guys are Carl, fine, not Eric. Carl, Carl, <laughs> hey, Carl, I, I'm going to talk to Carl here. We wrote down all the PDGA approved discs. Was the honey on that list for PDGA approved discs? Uh oh, Carl. We had the wild honey. No, oh, oh, but no honey. <laughs> yeah. All right, no honey. I should have picked the spice. Right sorry, line. Brian and AJ. I know we did give a Masters Worlds. We're going off the PDGA approved disc list. That's if okay. It, if it was originally honey, and then they came out with the second one, I would have allowed it. Uh, but with it not being there, I'm gonna have to say no. That's okay. But before we get into the other teams, let's take a quick break to win some money uh sixty dollars for this question again split between any team um excuse me i just get my screen uh split between any team to get it correct let's bring the question up um this question is thanks to birdie a board game by boda brothers home to king of home to the king of all aces maple hill will celebrate their 20th anniversary of premier events in 2023 we can cheers to that if you're of legal age of course how many different mpo and fpo winners have there been in the first 19 years of premier events at maple hill 45 45 seconds seconds on the clock (sighs) i'm looking for a whole number here uh home to the king of all aces maple hill will celebrate their 20th anniversary of premier events in 2023 we can cheers to that of course if you're of legal age how many different mpo and fpo winners have there been in the first 19 years i'm looking for unique winners just to be clear if that's not already clear if someone has won twice they're only counted once as a singular player for mpo and fpo and this is since it was a premier event we got five seconds on the clock oh wait it's premier events so i think they're going back from the 19 previous years of preview events so i think they're going to marshall street probably Thank Thank i'm you. guessing did you see yeah i think it's going let's, back let's start with <laughs> tina and eric 21 21 no! is their guess Total. hunter and trevor Okay, good <laughs> guess. <laughs> oh, that's why they're laughing. Well, no. hey, who says Tina and Eric are right? Nick and Matt. Um, we have to I add says. our numbers together. 16 and 13 to be 29. 29. 29. <laughs> AJ and Brian. 
25. Ooh, we're close. I'll say this was a tough hey, at least one. Not everyone's right. <laughs> <laughs> at least not everyone's right. <laughs> but somebody got it right. Uh, oh my gosh. It is Dang Eric it. and Tina. Oh, no! wow. Hey. <laughs> Eric and Tina, what led you to guessing 21? What's your thought process? The, hint of the, legal uh, age. the text says it. Yeah. <laughs> legal age. Of legal age. Cheers. Oh my oh gosh. We won it again. How foolish. Cool. And there was how a do we let, How do we overlook I remember my there. first beer. <laughs> we led it with uh, the king of all aces. If you have a king and an ace. Uh, oh, my oh my god! This is the one. second time they've gotten us. We, we, never, know. we just got to. We just need to read these. Things. I thought yeah. they were saying Holmes we just the counted. We only got to nine. Lazard now at this point, or like we're Kevin like, Jones' massive ace. Yeah. Like well, yeah. I was thinking Feldberg's right. ace. That's how it blended in. Yeah. So, uh, all right. All right. Well, let's let's do you, talk. Do you, do you have the breakdown of what it is for each division? Oh yes, I do. Fourteen for MPO, seven for FPO. Okay. We weren't that far. Trevor and I can't count above <laughs> we 10. We were far so. on AJ, FBO, you did which okay. I thought would have been, yeah. But AJ Bryan, good Dang. job. All right, well, let's talk I'm about sorry, some so charity. 14 and oh. MPO, uh, who are the repeat winners? Oh, I, I mean, don't know. There's only Kale. three. There's Kale, Paul, Ricky, I think, are the only repeat. I think. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, that okay. came, okay. I'll say that came straight <laughs> from Steve Dodge. Uh, thanks to coming up with that question. Kale, Kale was the first the repeat winner. And then I think yeah. Paul was the second, Ricky the third, or vice versa for them, too. Mm. And I think that's it. Okay. Who knows? Yeah. And also how Stat many times they won, too. So mm. let's talk about some charities. Nick and Matt, anything you guys would like to share about the Double G's Children's Foundation? Absolutely. First of all, I'm wearing Double G Craft Jerky hat. They're a great company over there. They make amazing jerky. And one of the best parts about eating their jerky is, you know, that a portion, I don't know exactly what the portion is, but you know, a portion is going to a great cause, which is, uh, everyone knows him as double G. He's a power thrower, but he's a great guy. In some ways he disappeared from the sport for a little bit. He's taking care of his life, family life. He cares about all that. And so coming back in and starting this organization, he really wanted to be able to put these efforts of his business to good use. We see on social media all the time, hosting events, sponsoring junior competitors. Um, and really I've been at enough junior events to see this as well. Um, him out there, high five and taking pictures. How can we help you out? Here's a disc. Here's how to throw far, um, as well as encouraging them to be the best people they can be. So great organization, good jerky. It's a win-win. Appreciate that. Let's bring it into another lightning round. We're going to bring Tina and Eric on deck for oh this God, one. No. This I'm one sweating right now is sponsored <laughs> by double G craft jerky going out on the course, headed to a hike, spending the day on the slopes, throw a bag or two of tasty craft beak jerky in your packs and be ready for whatever the day holds. <clears throat> Let's get 45 seconds on the clock starting now. Who has the most MPO major wins? Uh, Ken Climo. Who won the 2022 Preserve Championship in FPO? Kristen Tatar. What was Eagle McMahon's first elite or major victory? Just the event name. Las Vegas. Challenge. Uh, and what year was the Disc Golf Pro Tour started? 2017. Who won the 2022 Discraft Lakes Open in MPO? Calvin Heimberg. How many world's playoffs has Paul McBeth been in? <laughs> Two. Name oh. a PDGA approved disc by Lone Star Disc. Warbird. All right. Oh God! With, God. with that time. Paul McBeth one's dirty, oh. Evan. That Paul with, McBeth one's dirty. Well, I don't with, think that's right, actually. With time to idea. spare. Uh, who has the most MPO major wins? You said Ken, Ken Climo. <laughs> that is correct. With eighteen major wins, Paul McBeth nice. right on his tail with seventeen. Uh, and same with Paige Pierce for the. Uh, the open record. Uh, who won the 2022 Preserve Championship in FPO? That was Kristen Tatar. What was Eagle McMahon's first elite or major victory? Just the event name. That was Las Vegas. Three for three. And what year was the Disc Golf Pro Tour started? You said 2017. Unfortunately, it was 2016. Oh, Dang. 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 All right. Who well, won I blacked the 20... out for that question. <laughs> Who won the 2022 <laughs> D-Glow in MPO? You said Calvin Heimberg. That is correct. 
Uh, it's almost how, like we answered that earlier. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. right. <laughs> how many worlds playoffs has Paul McBeth in? You said two. That is incorrect. He has been in three. He won 2014 with Ricky Wysocki. He lost 2021, of course, after the holy shot to James Conrad. Comes back and wins playoff in 2022 mm, yeah, against Aaron yeah, Gossage. Name a, a PDGA approved disc by Lone Star Disc. You said the Warbird. Carl, that is correct, right? <laughs> right that is correct i also i need to chime in too uh it wasn't Kristen tatar who won uh the preserve it was Paige pierce who won oh my Ooh, goodness er- man eric said wrong. Kristen tatar yeah eric said Kristen tatar and i said it was correct won. but it was Paige pierce yeah my apologies that was 2021 that Kristen tatar won yeah she I of course lifting the bear but was, she was she went back home because she was hurt yeah she correct. was not in attendance yeah I, I i'm doing this lightning round off memory so thanks carl for <laughs> for watching <laughs> <memory>. <laughs> That's how segments are born, Evan. Oh, man. <laughs> Called stat or fiction. Yeah. Well, uh. Uh, all right, Carl, you got the points added up. Let's bring this into the final lightning this round. This is their chance. Uh, Woo! Again, 100 points Can each. Go ahead, AJ. The, that, uh, the Paul McBeth question in that lightning round, I, um, it's you said how many Worlds playoffs has he been in, and he was actually in a, a playoff in 2007 at uh, Am Worlds. Mm. Whoa. Whoa! So it's oh, even more than three. Did we not say embryo? But yeah, they got it wrong either way. But I appreciate the correction. So let's go. I just love trivia. All right. Last but not least, we got Hunter and Trevor. Thanks to DG Max Wax, the original disc golf grip wax. Let's put forty-five seconds on the clock, starting now. Who won the twenty twenty-two LWS Open at Edwild and MPO? Isaac Robinson. In what year did Ricky Wysocki win his first PDGA Pro Worlds? <laughs> 2016. In what year was the first USDGC held? 1999. Who won the 2022 US Women's? In FBI? Kaylee, Kaylee King. Uh, what event was Simon Lazat's first win of the 2022 season? Portland Open. In what state was the 2016 Disc Golf Pro Tour Championship held? Florida. Name a PDGA approved disc by Thought Space Athletics. The Mantra. All right. Six seconds to spare. Okay. Let's go. Getting through the questions. Woo! Let's bring it back. How did we run out of 45 seconds? Each one of them answered <laughs> with like 10 seconds to spare. And we sat there. Come on. My heart rate has never been higher. Well, you guys, the, you guys were the test subject, so we understood that it was just like, just go. Just yeah. Go. What the just heck? Go. Yeah, well, uh, appreciate being guinea pigs. Uh, who won the 2022 LWS Open at Idlewild and MPO? Y'all did say Isaac Robinson, right? Yes. All right, that is correct. In what year did Ricky Wysocki win his first PDGA Pro Worlds? Uh, I 2016 again, right? You guys got that 16. sweet? That's right. In what year was the first USDGC held? You said 1999. Carl, that's correct, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Come on, Carl. You got this, Carl. On, Carl. Get loose. Yes, it is correct. Sorry, I was on mute. <laughs> nope, <you're good. laughs> All right. Who won the 2022 U.S. Women's in FPO? I corrected myself, even though the, the description may not have said FPO, but you said Haley King. That is correct. What event was Simon Lazat's first win of the 2022 season? You said Portland Open. That is incorrect. Uh, it was the OTB, OTB. Open. Just for it. Say. They're all the same over there. In what state <laughs> in what state was the 2016 Disc Golf Pro Tour Championship held? Uh you said Florida. That is incorrect. Uh, oh, in 2016 Vermont. it was held in Vermont. Smuggler's notch, baby. Yeah. Why is it always easier? Though. It's always easier when you're not up in the yeah. lightning round. It's just what it Name is. Name a PDGA <laughs> approved disc by Thought Space Athletics. You said the mantra, Carl, that is correct, right? Mm-hmm. I should have right. said Eric Oakley Pathfinder, but just couldn't think of my feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Carl, let me know when we got the points added up for Hunter and Trevor. Um, then we'll do a quick update before we get into round three. Wow. Ni- 1950? <laughs> That's yeah, correct. I know. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Good year. Believe it or not. He <laughs> just used right. his shirt and we had him in updated. Right. Right. <laughs> He's like, they can't be that far back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, hey, it's not over till round so three. Let's, 
<laughs> We're a third round team. Let's get. You know the what? Score. They did score the best on the lightning round. So well done. Well done. Come All on. right. Let's get a bonus score points. Update. Anyone? Bonus Anyone? Points. <laughs> we have Tina and Eric leading with twenty eight hundred points. They also have $90 of bonus cash. So no matter where they finish, they still got that 90, most of anyone. Uh, In second place with 2,750 points, just 50 points behind, we have Brian and AJ who have $30 in bonus cash. Uh, In third place, we have have, (laughs) with 2,300 points, we have Nick and Matt who have $15 of bonus cash. And rounding out, we have Hunter and Trevor with 1,950 uh, with $30 of bonus cash right where we want to be <laughs> we're going in to round three this is worth 50 points each time to do some catch up uh this first question is sponsored by disc golf pins customize your disc golf bag with over 200 different disc golf pins and patches to choose from save 20 percent off your order by using code stat 25 at discgolfpins.com only six europeans have won an elite or major event an mpo or fpo four of them have won majors Two of them have not. Who are the two Europeans to have an elite win, but no major win in MPO or FPO to add that extra clarification on? Six Europeans have won an elite or major, but only two of them have won an elite, but not a major in MPO or FPO. I want to know who those two Europeans are. I will give 250 points, excuse me, for each correct player. So if you get both correct, you will get the full 500. Timer is up. <sighs> Let's start with Tina and Eric one more time. Then I'll then I'll switch it up. Who did you okay, guys write right. down? Evelina Salonen and Seppo Paiu. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hunter and Trevor. What did y'all write? <laughs> Simon mm. Lazat and Evelina Salonen. Mm. Nick and Matt. That's good. Nick wrote these ones down. I'm gonna no. let him say. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Uh, oh. Hannah and, and Evelina. Hannah Blomers and Evelina Salin, Salinen, excuse me. And AJ Risley and Brian, what did you write? The smart guy. Yep, that's the answer. Simon Lazar. Simon has a major, though. And Evelina oh, Salinen. Yeah, Corner ah. Piche was a Corner Piche. But was it a major the year he won it? That was, e- Eagle won it All the year right. as a major. So Eagle I, won it when it was a major. I have the answer. We can get to <laughs> <Wait>. Carl, though. Let him get it out. Let's go. All right. The correct answers are Simon Lazat and Marcus Kallstrom. Oh. Oh. Simon oh. Lazat has not won a major. Uh, if he has won Kona Peach Day, it was not when it was a it was major. Not, yeah. It has it switched between. World Tour. Yeah. yeah, it may have been that. Yeah. Um, Marcus Kallstrom won the 2007 Sugar Bush Open, a national tour event uh, in Vermont. Okay. Uh, Simon Lazat has won six Elite Series wins, but no major. Evelina Salonen, I know, won Kona Piche Day when it was a major. Henna Blomers oh. doesn't have any Elite yeah. or major wins. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know if there's another name that we mentioned here, but we got some we got some half points for some teams uh, with Simon Lazat. Look at that. Foundation Marcus. boys catching up. Was it, wasn't Marcus in the final nine of the 2007 Pro Worlds? Was that uh, Carl? <laughs> Carl, Carl, was out. <laughs> Carl, look up 2007 Pro Worlds, and we'll, uh, we'll get to it after this next question. Yeah. Oh, no, that's um, a good question, Carl, right there, man. Oh, I imagine gosh. Carl has like four monitors. <laughs> <laughs> like, can, we get a Carl, can we get a Carl cam <laughs> ripping Bruce? <laughs> hey, hey, I'm looking for Back the stocks. In the in Carl, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Back to the booth. Uh, what was the final Nadas, final nine? Kale Lavisca, Michael Randolph, Marcus Kalstrom. Oh, I have the DVD. Disc golf history and disc golf lore is just so fascinating. I I just urge all the viewers out there to find a VCR and just <laughs> and just get going. I'm Start like, hunting. I have like 10 <laughs> come on, come over to our house. house. Yeah, we'll watch some, we'll watch some DVDs. That's incredible. <laughs> it's, 
All right. This next question is sponsored by our friends at Maple Hill, uh, the number one disc golf course in the world, uh, as voted. Uh, what year was the first pawn jump at Maple Hill? Uh, oh. Bonus points. Who was yeah. the jumper? Matt, can we throw up the question? Uh, according to this, my sources, there was only one jumper that year. You got to choose who it was. But what year was the first pawn jump at Maple Hill? That's the official winner of the premier event, I guess. Jumping in the pond. However you want to refer to it as the pawn jump. Uh, comes straight from my sources. Uh, the bonus, if you can guess who it was the jumper, you will get an additional 100 extra points. I'm looking oh, for the this. year of the first pond jump at Maple Hill. I feel like I must have watched this, but I don't remember it being the first. All right, let's spin it over to Hunter and Trevor. What did y'all Oh, why are we first? Oh, gosh. Nico, I've Gatcher's never been to Maple Hill. Answer. What year? I don't see a year on there. I don't have any. I don't have a year. He did, uh, he I don't even know if he won. He did I don't even know if he won. He okay, that's good. Year. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> nice. I don't know the year. I just got my bonus. <laughs> All right, Nick and Matt, over to you guys. Uh, go ahead, Nick. I what put is... Nate Doss in 2010. Oh. Whatever it is. Oh. All right. Which, oh. I mean, is it disgusting? I think, you, I, I honestly, I. Don't... I I think there's someone else. Like right when they said Nico, I was like, "Wait, I have a different person in mind now." But I can't change what I wrote. So, over to Brian and AJ. 2005 by Kevin McCoy. You know what? If AJ got that right, man. And Eric and stuff. Tina. 2000. Barry Schultz. 2010. Barry Schultz. That's that's why I should have said was Barry. Thank you for putting that C in there. <laughs> the correct I've it, answer. I've seen it without the C. It's we got it. The correct answer is 2005 by Kevin yeah! McCoy. <laughs> wow! Holy moly. Wow! Have wow. the DVD. Thank you, Dad. I can <laughs> hear. I can just like, yeah, I was there. I jumped in the pond with him. I can <laughs> hear Steve Dodge on the DVDs. Like Kevin McCoy. <laughs> It's wonderful. Those old DVDs were amazing. They highlighted so many players and did personal highlight reels for so many oh, different yeah. players. Incredible. Awesome. Mitch stuff. Thunder fan. Oh, man. That's the I was just thinking ever. it had to be someone who was just like, screw this. I'm jumping in the pond. Yeah. And I was like, that's Nico. <laughs> Nico. <laughs> and Nico did it at the preserve when he won. You know? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> who knows what's in that pond? That was actually a good guess. And I know I've heard, I know I've heard Macbeth um, credit Kevin McCoy. He said, mm. man, thanks, Kevin, for making us jump in this okay. pond, like, at dusk in September <laughs> when it's 50 degrees out. It's true. Like, it might have, yeah. Oh, that's great. Uh, uh, honestly, a great tradition. But let's bring it to our next great. question. This one, uh, sponsored by Power Grip, Europe's number one disc golf shop, is now open in the United States. Come see why they call themselves a pretty good disc golf shop online at powergripusa.com. Paige Pierce holds the record for most elite or major wins. Uh, FPO uh, in a season at 13. What year did she achieve this? Paige Pierce holds the record for most FPO elite or major wins in a season at 13 wins. What year did she achieve this? <laughs> Brian and I were looking at this list last night. Um, I don't know if I remember though. Yeah, that's a tough one. <clears throat> Got five seconds left. Ooh. That was the amount of major she won. Like she passed in total. All right, I'm looking for the year. Right. Hunter and Trevor, what year did you guys put down? As you can tell, we changed the last second. <laughs> Who changed it? 2019. 2019. Over to Nick and Matt. All right, we didn't change it, but we had 2017. Brian, oh no, Brian and AJ. Going out on a limb. Oh, oh boy. 13. Oh, we got three different answers so far to Tina and Eric. Oh, 2019s, 2017s. 21. 21. The correct answer is 
2017. Let's go, baby. Oh, Let's go, wow. baby. She wow. won three majors, right Worlds, now. U.S. Women's, and the Aussie Open. They changed their she answer. She won six <laughs> disc golf pro tour events. <laughs> oh, no, no, between Hunter and Trevor, oh, who changed no, it from 17 boy. to 19? That's, no, that's not important. That's <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. not important. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> right and to round it out, she won four national tours for a total of 13. Oh, man. it's wow, crazy. All good stuff. Let's bring it to our next question. This one's sponsored by Hooligan Dis, uh, the makers of the Yeet. Uh, there were five standard stroke play events in the first year of the Disc Golf Pro Tour. That was 2016, as we learned earlier. Uh, name these events. So oh, by standard stroke play, just uh kind of as it sounds a stroke play event with no extra buys or win your cards so that's what the to tour championship is so i'm looking for the five events that were not the tour championship in 2016 the inaugural year of the disc golf pro tour i will give you 100 points for each correct answer if you get all five that is a total of 500 points what if we put them in order you get Shut uh, up. pride and accomplishment <laughs> Ah, oh, crud. That's like writing bonus words on your spelling test in elementary school. <laughs> yeah. No one cares. No one cares. <laughs> Although I did do that. Uh, Brian, do you trust me? We got the I mean, timer I as well. up. I am going to be know. slightly lenient and talk for a second or more. There were five <laughs> yes. in 2016 for the Disc Golf Pro Tour. Let's hear it from Hunter and Trevor first. What events did you guys write down? If I have to translate, let me know. My handwriting got All right, we got the crazy. Memorial, Idlewild, Jonesboro, Letchstone, and Vibram Open at Maple Hill. Uh, I wrote Maple Hill and didn't know if you would let it, let it slide, so I put Vibram in there. Well, I think Gross. that year it actually was the Maple Hill Open. So Vibram Gosh, does not count. Darn it. Uh, <laughs> okay, Judge Nick. No. Uh, speaking of you, let's Sorry, hear your Nick, answers. I think, I think uh, right. Us? Here yeah. we go. Let me, let me read it, then I'll show you. We said Maple Hill, Brewster Ridge, Minnesota Majestic, Silver Cup Memorial. Well, it was, yeah. Oh, that was the right. one. Maple Hill. Oh, yeah. dang it. I don't think it was yeah. Memorial, though. I think it was Ledgestone. Oh. It was not Okay. All right. <laughs> Brian and AJ, over to you guys. What do we have, AJ? Okay. So we started <laughs> with the Vibram Open, and then we went out to Lift Wisconsin for the Silver Cup. We made a short drive <laughs> over to Minnesota for the Majestic. We're, we're good so far. <laughs> Took a Lift few weeks off and drove south to oh. um, Peoria for the Ledgestone Insurance Open. Mm -hmm. Took a couple yes. more weeks off. We played a national tour in between those at Delaware. Yep. And then we finished at the Green Mountain. Dude, we were off by one. Oh, I wrote Bruce Ridge Open. I meant Green Mountain Champs. All right, Eric and Tina, I expect the same presentation. Silver Cup. Eric wrote this one, so good luck. Silver Cup, Ledgestone, <laughs> Maple Hill, Green Mountain Championships. I missed the Majestic. So we got I was, I was four. four. Potentially. Well, we don't know. Oh. I mean, it's unreal that we, we didn't play in these events. How fair is this? <laughs> yeah, that's not fair, Carl. <laughs> what the heck? I, I Come on, Carl. Out on tour. Carl. I mean, I'm pretty sure AJ could tell me what highway he took <laughs> to get to the Majestic. Yeah, I went down okay. 84, Dude. moved over to Dude, 97, this, then went up to 290. <laughs> this is so – yeah, Brian, go ahead. AJ had an idea to go on tour with an Atlas <laughs> when I first met him. And he still has the Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> that's, whoa, 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 whoa. that's 2017. That's 2017. Though. This that's is 2017. <laughs> You're in the future. <laughs> Sue me. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go over the question. I'm going to first say, like, we're going to be a little lenient. If you said for Maple Hill, if you said Maple Hill, Vibram, MVP, okay. I get what you're going for. We're going to count it. We're nice here. This is for charity. Uh, but let's go over it in order of those events. We had the Vibram Open at Maple Hill, of course, uh, Silver Cup in Wisconsin, Minnesota Majestic, Ledgestone uh, Open or Ledgestone Insurance Open and finished out of the Green Mountain Championship. Does that sound familiar, AJ? Yeah, uh, dude, I, I just made an five. Instagram post we about this last week. <laughs> Are you serious? I, 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 yeah. I, I found like I found a little bit of uh, memorabilia from that year. It was the inaugural Disc Golf Pro Tour season, and Steve Dodge and Miles Park Hill made these little pins, and they gave them to everybody that cashed in an event during that inaugural season. And I found those pins while rummaging through some old stuff at my dad's house the other day. Um, and I made an Instagram post about it, and so it's just kind of 
freaky right. slash coincidental that you guys are bringing it up and uh it was what it sounds like it you've been a... talking with stat man over the last week <laughs> I, was I, was evan, saying, I don't think evan, so. evan if i check your follower list sounds you, a you little AJ too over there? skeptical <laughs> <laughs> seems like you're like oh that makes a great point. <laughs> <laughs> can i can i ask uh, you we yeah. had said the brewster ridge open which is yeah, a different I, event but it is the course that we're thinking yeah, that yeah we're going to say okay. GMs. we're gonna be leaning here dude this i'm telling you when i when i'm doing an exam and have to write stuff down i get nervous i'd give it to before it was on the pro right, court. Right. What's that? Brewster Ridge. They're two different events. Benefit goes to the player. We just wrote open. <laughs> <laughs> Brewster Ridge. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, Eric. We're gonna get. We're gonna be nice. They are two different events, they, but they're, they're, they're both oh with the God, same set of courses. Uh, so we have five points to Brian and AJ. Uh, Tina and Eric got four. Uh, Carl, no. were you keeping track of Nick and Matt and Hunter and Trevor? They got. They still got plenty. Yeah, I think they updated us. I wouldn't say plenty. Okay. Okay, one, sorry. That was nice, last, that was nice of you to say plenty. <laughs> trivia within the trivia, the, the Vibram Open that year was the first event to be both a disc golf pro tour event and, and a national tour yeah. event. It was, it was both. And it was the finale event for a few years as well. It was the closing um, national tour event. You're right. So Pretty much cool. History. Pretty cool. So much history. I appreciate the history within the trivia show. Uh, let's bring it to the next question, though. Uh, by Legit Disc Golf Premium Apparel and Disc Golf Goods, LegitDiscGolf.com. Excuse me. An FBO competitor has finished a PDGA event with a thousand plus event rating 36 times. Paige Pierce has 16 of these 36 instances. Who has the second most thousand plus rated FPO events? And that is when you your average round ratings from that event uh having an average round rating across the event being 1000 or higher page pierce has 16 of the 36 instances who has the second most in fpo history We need more dramatic music. We have 10 seconds left on the clock. There it is. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I love the music. <laughs> the best, some of the best music from a game show was the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire mm. when it was like, do, 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 and then it gets on the guy and you're like, oh my God, this is sick. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you are the weakest link. <laughs> no, that's a different one. <laughs> Hunter and Trevor, who did you guys write down? The cat. It's a good Katrina day. Allen. Over to Nick and Matt. Same, same. Um, Katrina. We need a whiteboard Allen. next time. Yeah, Katrina I was going to say, Allen. can we steal one of your old pieces of paper? Oh, that wouldn't work. We need a whiteboard. We have All paper analog, towels. Uh, Brian and AJ. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina <laughs> Allen and Cat. Oof. AJ, your trivia is good. Your drawing is not. I'm going to say that. <laughs> that's, oh, yeah, there's, that's, there's a cat. cat. Tina, that, was, that was for Tina. That Tina, was for Tina, much, much better. <laughs> that is a great drawing of a cat. <laughs> We got four for four for Katr Same Katrina right Allen. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is not correct. It is Kristen Tatar. No! That was our second guess. Oh, that was our second oh, guess, but it wasn't right. Six. I'm like, she hasn't been playing long enough. There's right. no way. That's how wow. I feel. All that was Trevor's fault. We're all even. Six were last oh, year. <laughs> all six <laughs> of Kristen Tartar. Tatar's thousand plus rated rounds have occurred since August 1st, 2021. Paige Pierce has zero within that same period. Her most recent thousand plus rate, uh, rated event was 2021 Portland, uh, which was a couple months earlier. And that brings us to our. Bonus points for the cat? That was a good drawing with the cat, but cat wasn't the answer. So that's Dang. tough. Uh, I'm pretty sure Kristen means cat in Estonian. That's true. That's actually true. Are you serious? That's insane. Don't Google it. Don't, no. don't Google it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. On to our final uh, question in round three. Uh, this is thanks to the Nick and Matt show. Um, didn't have a tagline, but you can find them at <laughs> Nick and Matt Sign show. Us live We're on here. Monday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. YouTube, Nick and Matt. Paul McBeth likes to putt with matching putters. Which color putter has he not used to tap in a world's win? This is a multiple choice. What? A super fan purple, B <laughs> pink, C white, or D orange is a multiple choice question. Which color putter has Paul Macbeth not used for a world's win? 
a tap in for a world's win. So if you used it in round one, we don't care. Yeah. Specifically about that final putt to win the world championship. Which color putter has he not used? So if he won with like a 30 foot putt, is that a tap in? Uh, yeah. It, what, <laughs> what do you mean is his final yeah, putt? Yes. Got it. Okay. His, his final putt. In Making sure I'm reading the do questions. You have the time, do you have the timer going? <laughs> All right. Timer. Have sorry. Ever, what's, and that's a great trivia question, too. What's the longest putt that Ooh. Paul McBeth has made to win Worlds? I, I can't wait for AJ to be like, yeah, I actually signed that putter the day before that <laughs> <laughs> event. Oh, 2012 Worlds putters at the garage when he was living there. At least I felt them. Yeah. So okay. obviously three of these he has used on a final putt at Worlds, and one of these colors he has not. So you can start to use process of elimination and at least get it down to maybe a 50-50 guess. But we did a little extra time on the clock for this question, but we have 10 seconds left. Uh, man, this one's rough. I'll write it. Usually they say in quizzing when you don't know, what do you pick? C? Is that what it is? You always pick C? Well, we knew that this didn't one. work for me on the ACP. Matt. <laughs> okay, I don't remember the answer, but I think that we're gonna go with C. Pro Wait, C White. Yeah. All right, let's go over to Casey White. Casey, White. Casey White's on the show. <laughs> uh, let's go over to Hunter and Trevor. What did you guys say? White. Casey White. Casey White's on the show. White's on the board. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Yo, coincidence. Baby. It's pretty funny. Uh, let's go over to Nick and Matt. Uh, C White. C White. Yo, Brian and AJ. C. C. C what? <laughs> With a white board. 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 White board. Uh, <laughs> Tina, Tina and Eric Ooh. say D. Orange. Orange. Okay, now wait. Rebels. Before you say the answer. Oh, I think 2012 right. was purple. I think 2014 was pink, and I think 2015 was orange. Oh boy, he's going for bonus points. I think 2014 was purple. Um, those don't count. For <laughs> no, 2012 was purple. Ah, crud. Because they oh, smell like crayons. Come on, let's move. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The answer no is C, white. Uh, we have it as in 2012, it was purple. 2014, it was pink. 2013 and 2019, we had orange, with 2015 being red. Of course, this is off of YouTube, nice. so hopefully our colors are... Yeah, shout out Jomez. Um, Holy crap. Yeah, right? In 2022 was the <laughs> green slash yellow, whatever you would call yeah. that. Uh, it wasn't included. Mucus. So, uh, Carl, are our points shout accurate as of this moment? We are on to our... Oh, wait. No, we have a oh, bonus no. cash. Bonus cash. Do we have special bonus music cash. for that? Shoot. I didn't write this one down on my uh, on my sheet, but we're on to a bonus cash question. Uh, let's throw the question on the board, Matt. The first PDGA sanctioned event with a ten thousand dollar prize to the winner was the Whammo fifty k Frisbee Disc Golf Invitational. What year was this already event the held? Again, this is a bonus cash question. We have sixty dollars up for grabs. Uh, it will be split between all the correct answers if all four teams get it correct it'll be 15 dollars each only one team gets it all 60 dollars to that team the first pdga sanctioned event with ten dollars ten thousand dollars excuse me to the winner uh was the whammo 50k frisbee disc golf invitational i want to know what year that event was held in my dad is screaming right now <laughs> Start of the clock a little late. We're giving you guys some extra time. Do uh, me. <laughs> Dock him. <laughs> Can't burp. <laughs> that's just, oh, that's just basic. <laughs> <laughs> it's healthy. Popped like Brian made a face <laughs> like he knew exactly what it was, and AJ <laughs> made a face and then started writing stuff down. So I'm like. Me and AJ spend our time on the tour throwing old frisbees back and forth to each Imagine. other and just grinning huh? because we no longer compete <laughs> this is all we have left <laughs> all right we have five seconds left in the clock Gosh, oh my goodness all right let's let's go to eric and tina first with this one 1984 mm. all right like let's book? go might as well jump <laughs> i see you in my life Let's go to Hunter and Trevor. 83. Duke also just, well, I, I can't, I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch. Duke just won. <laughs> Ooh. All right, Nick and Matt. All right, 75. I, it's really ah, early. 75. Feet. Wow. Uh, 1975 feet, is your yeah. answer. Uh, let's go to probably just AJ, I guess, or AJ and Brian. <laughs> no, AJ, take it away, my friend. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, mm. 76. Dude. Carl, do you have the answer for me? Because I didn't have it on my sheet. Oh, oh. he's muted still. We gotta we gotta throw you on. Wake up, Carl. Come on. <laughs> Carl's there. Everyone can see him. You Try got it, again. Carl. Are you on? No, can't hear. All right. <laughs> I I'm gonna say what it is. Carl, you tell me if I'm wrong. I believe we had 1979. Oh. Uh, mm. Have Carl give the thumbs up or not? Well, he can. He can, he can talk. Hear it. Carl, like Carl says yes. Up. I had the year right. It is 1979 was the Man. correct year. We were in so the we right all decade. got it wrong. So do we bonus cash for everyone? The bonus cash. <laughs> the bonus <laughs> cash. Uh, we were going to say it goes to the winner's pot. So the thousand right. dollars. They're already getting a bunch, but it's going to go to their pot. So it's still getting donated to charity. We were hoping that people would get it, but this was the tough one. We were course. in the right yeah. decade, Brian. Yeah. And so, yeah. What was your what's your source? Uh, pdga.com so uh to, for the first it. rock solid yeah, <laughs> yeah we explained <laughs> we looked at my what, source was a poster i bought off ebay that was from 83 <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it said ten thousand to the winner <laughs> didn't say it was the first time it happened though yeah you know i i um yeah my my dad competed in a qualifier for this event out in florida in and i believe it was in 1976 Mm. Um, he, he didn't qualify for the, the $50,000 inv invitational, but he cashed in the qualifier. Um, cool. But nice. Well, nice. that's, that's why I guessed 76. Uh, that's very cool. No. Uh, yeah, I, I, we have it in 1979. I'm going to go with that as the answer though. I appreciate the encyclopedia though. Let's bring it to the final question. This one is worth 1500 points. What? Uh, Oh my god! Everybody's it's, alive. Yeah, it's uh, not, not quite. quite. It's a big one. one. <laughs> We're live for second. Trevor cannot win. No, well, they can't like win, the but they can and Mario put us last. Yeah. yeah. All right, and again, we have one thousand and sixty dollars now going to the winner. Um, winners charity. Let's be clear with that too. All of this is for charity. Um, let's bring the question up. Uh, this question is sponsored by Zuka. Uh, disc golf carts for a better game. Check out their full line of disc golf carts at Zuka.com. What I am looking for here is a disc. And we have a special little challenge. Uh, approved in May of 1999, what disc has been thrown by icons? The speed is the number of majors in FPO, won by Katrina Allen. The glide is the uh, number of PDGA MPO playoff wins for Calvin Heinberg. All tiers. Uh, the turn is minus... The number of USDG tit USDGC titles for Ricky Wysocki and the fade is majors in FPO won by Kristen Tatar. That will give you the flight ratings. Hopefully help you find out the disc that was approved in May of 1999, which has been thrown by icons is our one clue. Hmm. And I'll, I'll say this, you don't need to get every single one of the flight ratings down. If you can get enough, that'll give you the idea on a guess for the disc, because oh, we're just looking for the disc here. Oh, wait. Oh. Yeah, that's, yeah. Let's get some let's get some music. I know we're we're counting down. Was this a 90 second one? Oh, let's go another 45 on. This was a 90 second question. My bad for not saying it ahead of time. We got 44, 45 more seconds on the clock to help you guys think. All right, here we go. Come on. Come on, computer now. 45 more seconds. And I'll put the, the dramatic music up. I'll say through the flight rating. Uh, hints again, the speed is the number of majors in FPO won by Katrina Allen. The glide is the number of PDGA MPO playoff wins for Calvin Heimberg in any tier. Uh, turn is negative the number of USDGC titles for Ricky Wysocki. And the fade is majors in FPO won by Kristen Tatar. I am looking for a disc that was approved in May of 1999. All right. Is that the time? That is the time. Again, we are looking for just one singular wow. disc. Um, a lot. Of, that's the challenge <laughs> one. That's why it's worth fifteen hundred points, right? Let's <laughs> let's start off. Uh, throwback to the round one. Let's start off with Nick and Matt. 
This could be a super fail, but we don't know our history that well. 19, uh, sorry, not 19, AVR. AVR approved in 1999. That's what we believe. All right, let's go to Brian and AJ. Oh, my God. The Rhino. Over to Tina and Eric. Rock. Okay. That was my other thought. And Hunter and Trevor. Mm, oh I mean, we, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. <laughs> the Rhino. Wow. Come on, baby. All Give right. It to us. Let's go, and Brian. The answer is the Innova T Bird. Oh, oh, we all, oh, hey, man, we all thought for a second. Not everyone was like, 7502? 7502. So we were way off. Katrina Allen Katrina. has seven yeah. FPO <laughs> majors. I didn't realize she had that many yeah. majors. Yeah. Only two world titles, world. but way five man. other majors. Yeah. Uh, Calvin yeah. I still wanted to flex and be thought, like, oh, yeah, May 99. Oh, yeah, it's cheaper. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was like three or four at most, but seven. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that, that was, was a good that one. That was the everyone up, I guess. Uh, so Calvin Heinberg, of course, has five Incredible. MPO uh, playoff wins. He's throwing shade towards Rick. I, I felt <laughs> bad about it. It, but it, <laughs> it was a tough one and it was going to make people think and maybe think it was, you know, a minus one or two disc, but it is uh, zero titles at USDGC, unfortunately, I mean, for Ricky Wysocki. He's, won one. he's out of Rock Hill and everything. So yeah, of he's course. On, he's on the hunt. You know he wants it. Every time I'm out there and we see him out there, Rick's like, USDGC is like in his sights every single year. So oh, yeah. it's, it's a matter of time. 100%. And Kristen Tatar has two majors. Uh, she, of course, has worlds from this year, but has uh, 2019 U.S. Women's. US women's. All right. Yep. Uh, the only other disc uh, approved in May of 1999 was the Leopard made by Innova. Uh, if you knew your PDG approved dates, that might have uh, tricked you up. But <laughs> looks like wow. we got the better of everyone with that one. But I want to thank all the teams, first of all, for uh, participating in this game. We have our winner, Brian and AJ, with $1,060 yeah. plus their $30 bonus cash. So $1,090 donated to the educational disc golf experience. In second place, we have Nick and Matt donating uh $3,715 to Double G's Children's Foundation in third place. Uh oh sorry, I just said your I uh, sorry, I just said your points, excuse me. I was like, whoa. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Be I have them somewhere here. Uh, <laughs> they they won $550, excuse me. Uh plus $15. So a total of $560 $565 to Double G's Children's Foundation. Yeah. In third place, we have Eric yeah. and Tina, who earned $410 uh from the placement plus the $90 bonus cash, the winners in that department for the evening to round it out to 500 total dollars to you play Ooh. and Hunter cool. and Trevor uh, earned $330 to Isaiah 117 house. Yeah, uh, absolutely incredible from all of our guests. Appreciate you so much. Let's throw the floor to Brian and AJ. You guys are the winners. Uh, what do you have to say? <laughs> wow. Well, That's... AJ, all those ridiculous uh, hours we spent <laughs> in cars together talking about a bunch of random garbage paid off for us. And now we can donate to charity. AJ, yep. uh, I'm glad you still have the Atlas and uh, maybe we, we come back next, uh, next season, 2024. And we do the Atlas tour. <laughs> the that. Atlas tour. We might get lost, but we'll Sorry, see. Mom and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right. No, let's, let's yeah. throw it to Nick and Matt. Any closing words? Yeah. Wow. I think biggest thing is saying the, main winner of all of this are the charities that we are supporting. Um, this is such a cool opportunity. Thank you to Stat Mando, Evan Carl, and everyone, the crew over there for even setting this up and just making a really fun way. I think all of us that are in this room right now have content creation somewhere in the disc golf world. Um, and this was just a really, really cool opportunity to bring us all together for an incredible, awesome cause. So thank you to Stat Mando mostly. Thank you for everyone that is tuning in right now, checking it out. Um, are we closing out right now or do we want to say oh we're gonna throw to eric and okay, tina that's next eric and tina, sure. any any cool. closing words for y'all uh really not going that like thank you to sat mando for having us and for putting this together uh we are very big charity supporters we love doing anything we can for charity so uh thanks for all the hard work i know it goes uh it's a lot of work to put something like this together yeah thanks for having us of course, and over to Hunter and Trevor. <laughs> this is, we got we got our work cut out for us. We're, we're gonna get it. Um, I just want to say that we'll, we'll be ready. We'll be ready in like twenty years. Um, whenever we have more experience, we're gonna get a VCR. We're gonna, we're we're gonna, gonna get an Atlas, and we're yeah. gonna write an apology letter to the Isaiah One Seventeen. The twenty on my, <laughs> my to do list. Twenty forty three Stat Mando charity. We're dominating. 
Can you put that on a t-shirt? That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Oh, uh, that is great. Have fun. Yeah. Have fun on your journey. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, uh, and of course, great. thank you to all of our sponsors and thank you to all of our viewers uh, who uh, made our sponsors come, made our contestants come. Uh, thank you for watching. If you played this game along with the contestants and you had a cash amount that you wanted to donate to any of these four charities or the countless other charities in the world, uh, would love uh, you to do the same for whatever amount works the best for you. Uh, thanks for watching. That's all I have. Uh, we can sign off. Pretty awesome that the winner tonight bye. is the Educational Disc Golf Program um, with Jay Redding coming on. Check it out Monday Night Live, Nick and Matt Show. Peace out, everybody. Tell someone you love them.